In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your elbow pain in a very easy to follow step-by-step -step guide. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can give both quick and long-lasting elbow pain relief. And to keep it simple, the video is going to be broken up into a step-by-step -step guide. While each step is different, they are meant to work together and also in order. So start with the first exercise, work your way towards the last. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home and you may find get quick relief even within 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix your elbow pain right now. So let's start with a really easy way to get instant elbow pain relief. This one can give relief within 30 seconds. It's known as muscle scraping or gua sha. We just need a couple different things. The first being a form of lubrication. I'm going to be using coconut oil. You can use any forms of creams, massage lotions, or oils that are designed to be put on the skin. The next being a large metal spoon. You want one with a little bit more thickness to it, you'll get better results. To start off, with take whatever lubrication you're going to be using and pretty much coat all over the forearm starting from the wrist going on up on all sides also the elbow and we want to really focus on making sure that we also target the bicep and the tricep we're going to focus on everything to get the best relief and when it comes to lubrication a little bit more is always better so once we're done with that we're then going to take our spoon and it doesn't matter what part you use you can use the handle the tip even the rounded portion in fact during this exercise switch it up and use what works best for you. But you're going to take your spoon, and I like to start in this position, kind of resting my arm on a table or a bed with my palm side up. And I'm going to start right at the wrist, and I'm going to angle my spoon roughly 30, 45 degrees. Apply enough pressure where it's going to cause a very good self-massage, but not causing any discomfort. Another note to stay off anything bony. We only want to go over muscle and soft tissue. If you go over bone, it can cause irritation. So what I'm going to do is slowly stroke upward. During this, you want to stroke upward towards the heart and go over one spot nice and slowly for about five to 10 repetitions. And then from there, you're just going to switch over a different spot and repeat, pretty much targeting the whole area. When you do this, what you're going to notice is red uh, pockets right here form on the top of the skin. That is completely normal. That is blood flow coming into the area, which will help promote healing. Obviously, if you're putting in too much pressure in there, don't cause a bruise. When you also do this, you're probably going to notice that certain spots feel really really tight, achy, even gritty, almost like sandpaper. That's generally a spot of adhesion and you really want to throw more repetitions in there until that breaks up because that could actually be causing a lot of your elbow pain. So do this pretty much from the wrist going all the way up to the elbow, targeting any spot that needs it just a little bit more. A nice thing about this too is that you can target a little bit more on the inside of the elbow. So if you have medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow, Elbow, you can target in there a little bit more and likewise you can do it on the outside of the elbow if you have lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow so really dig in there a little bit more and focus on that area if that's the case from there you're going to switch over towards the other side so pull your uh, palm side down and then just repeat this on the other side of the forearm going from the wrist into the forearm all the way up to the elbow and then from there you just want to kind of go around the elbow just a little bit more to make sure everything is nice and loose again target any spot that needs it just a little bit more. I also like to go over the bicep right here above the elbow and then on the back side of the arm hitting the tricep. All of this right here is linked to the elbow, so don't skip any spot. So we can take this one to the next level by doing a couple different things. The first being if you have one certain spot that just feels really tight, gritty, will not release, what I recommend at that point is using different parts of the spoon. You may be able to uh, dig in there a little bit better, but also attacking it at different angles. So instead of going straight with it, attack it at like a 45 degree angle and hit those muscle fibers just a little bit differently. You may find that it finally releases. You can also take this one to even the next level by putting motions in your elbow and wrist right here that may be causing your discomfort. Like let's say that I have a lot of elbow pain if I turn my arm like this. So what I want to do is pretty much go into that position and stop right before the point where I'm getting elbow pain. 
like let's say right here for me, if I went any further like this, it would really start to cause some discomfort right here on the elbow. At that point, I'm then going to attack those muscles that feel really tight and achy and do this pretty much over the whole area, relax, and then on the next repetition, you'll probably notice that you have just a little bit more pain-free range of motion to build into it. So just keep repeating this over and over again until you finally get it completely released or you're not getting any more improvement. Some motions that you can go through is taking your wrist up like this. You can also uh, turn it over, bring your wrist up in the opposite direction. You can also bring the wrist down and also up, kind of like a hitchhiker sign. And I'd also recommend turning your arm inward like this and then outward. You also want to, again, focus on the bicep and the tricep. So really try to do an Arnold curl right here and target that bicep going into the elbow all the way up to the shoulder. And then also just trying to hit the backside of the arm as much as you can. But go through all of those movements and target the spots that need it just a little bit more. So after we have the muscles loosened up, we're now going to move on to strengthening. This one can offer both quick, but more importantly, long-lasting elbow pain relief. I'm going to be doing what is called the hammer method, but you can use any small weights. You can use a dumbbell, even a water bottle, but you'll find that the hammer works the best. It's the most challenging, and you'll see here shortly why. So a note with this exercise, I'm going to be doing it standing, but if you do have a lot of elbow pain, I would recommend doing this with your arm supported on a desk or a table and when you feel ready, try to do it standing. It's just a little bit more challenging. So if you are using a hammer, grab towards the head to start off with. If you're using anything else, just grab right in the center of that weight. We're going to go through several different movements, and so I don't have to keep repeating. Remember, five for five. All of these movements we're going to hold for five seconds and repeat five times. The first movement, I'm going to have my arm straight out in front of me, just like this, palm side down. We're going to just raise that weight upward towards the ceiling as much as we can. A key with this, do not go to the point of pain or discomfort. So if you start to go up and you feel elbow pain, stop and back off just slightly and then hold that for five seconds. When you're done with that, what you're going to do is now slowly lower the weight down, resisting against it. You're going to notice it hits the muscles just a little bit differently, but do that over and over again. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. From there, we're going to turn our palm upward and then repeat. This one can be really challenging right here. You're going to get a really good burn into the forearm. So go up with it and then fight that weight going down as much as you can, just over and over again. The next two movements are ulnar and radial deviations, kind of like taking the wrist in and then up like this. So let's grab right towards the top, right here towards the head of the hammer, and then we're just going to raise it up slowly and then we're going to fight that weight going down, just over and over again. The next movements are going to be rotational. So we're going to straighten our arm and then turn our uh, hand inward like this and then go in the opposite direction. Again, fighting this weight as much as we can. The reason why the hammer works so well is because the further that you slide your hand down the handle, the more challenging these movements become. So afterwards, try these exercises again, but more towards the center of the handle and progress into it as much as you can. Obviously, don't go to the point where it's going to cause a lot of strain into those muscles. But over time, you'll probably notice that you can do this quite easily towards the bottom of the handle. Why I really like this exercise is because it will quickly identify movements that cause discomfort so you can really work on them. So let's say that I have a lot of weakness or just a lot of pain and discomfort when I turn my hand in just like this. What you want to do at that point is build up to the point of pain but not into it, stopping right before it, holding this for five seconds and then relaxing and then throwing more repetitions in over and over again until that tightness has gone away or you're not getting any more improvement. And then from there, try to progress into it just a little bit more by sliding your hand down the handle. But go through all of these movements. If any spot position needs more repetitions, Keep throwing them in until everything is nice and loose and hopefully strengthened at that point. In the last part, we're going to focus on stretches. Stretches are perfect to do after the strengthening exercises, but you can use these throughout the day anytime that you need quick elbow pain relief. 
These are known as elbow clocks. You can do them standing or seated. Whatever side that you're having elbow pain, let's say it's your right side, straighten your arm out as much as you can, just point it right out in front of you, and then point your fingers down towards the floor, moving through your wrist. When you can't go any further, you're going to take your other hand, put it right on the back side of your hand, and now press in slightly, bringing your palm towards you. As you do this, you're going to feel a deep, intense stretch form over the forearm going towards the elbow. Only go to your comfort level. You want to hold this for five seconds and then you're going to relax. So this is how we're going to treat it like a clock. We're going to start with the six o'clock position, our fingers straight down. On the next repetition, we're going to go just a little bit off towards our side and do seven o'clock. And you're going to keep repeating this in different positions as much as you can. And then you're going to switch towards the other side and again, repeat. You're going to notice that one certain spot, like let's say right here, nine o'clock for me, just addresses the most amount of tightness, achiness, or pain. At that point, you're going to stop and throw more repetitions in, but you want to hold this one for longer, 20 to 30 seconds, and you're going to keep doing this over and over again until that tightness has been released or you're getting no more improvement. From there, we're going to take this one to the next level by now pointing our fingers up towards the ceiling, grabbing our fingers, and then bringing our hand towards us. It hits the muscles, again, just a little bit differently. So start at noon for five seconds, and then you're going to go towards one o'clock, repeating this through as many different positions as possible. Again, trying to find any spot that needs it just a little bit more and then holding it for longer. Just a really good way to pinpoint spots and get some really quick elbow pain relief. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.